because you think. Wait Dad, a second. I have to go. The colloquium is starting very soon, and everyone there will be lost without me. Wait, are you giving the colloquium this week? Of course not. It's being given by three visiting physicists. Victor Felds, Grady Slides, and Carl Tenson. I'm in charge of coffee and cookies, and without me, no one would show up. But, but surely you have just a minute. No, I don't have a minute, and don't call me sure. We've already discussed this, and I think you need to search for another research advisor. But Professor Fink, I know that I haven't gotten really anything done in a long time. But I can go back to the way that was at the beginning, when I loved doing physics, and I was excited about being 40 feet underground in GCIS. And I didn't have to be scared into getting my work done by the prospect of an upcoming group meeting. Well, Ted, you see, it's just that lack of gumption that uh, makes me think you need to look somewhere else in the first place. To succeed in grad school, one needs to be self-sufficient, self-motivated. That's why I can't have you in my lab. But I will see you at the colloquium later today. But, but, ugh. If only I could go to the colloquium and get some sort of really impressive insight out of it, maybe Fink would take me back. Ugh, but I can't go. I haven't been there in years. Not since before my horrific 335 project. The printer messed up, and there were typos, and the professors hounded me with specific questions, and it was clear I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. But that was all, that's all in the past now. That was years ago. It'll be different now, right? I could go, I could sit in the back, I get some cookies, and coffee! introducing everyone at the colloquium today? Oh, uh, hello Frank. Yeah, um, this is Vector Fields, Carl Tenson, and Grady Slides. Who? He's really old. Oh. Gentlemen, this is Frank Fink, our in charge of coffee and cookies. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright, so I guess you guys are going to go over the slides once or twice more. Um, I know a three-person presentation can be kind of tricky, but uh, brought you some coffees, brought you some cookies, so that should help things go easily. If you run out, you can always slide across the hall to 206. We have some more. Haven't seen Scott Wilbur yet, so uh, I think we should still have some left over. Your presentation is looking pretty good, except for that notation I told you to fix this slide. I don't want to gain involved there, Carl. I agree. The notation needs to be fixed. It needs an arrow. It's a vector, Victor. I told you it's represented by a curl, Carl. Actually, I think... It's a tensor, isn't it? But the slides is actually oh. one who wrote the slides, and I'm oh. here just to fulfill the experimental questions. Look, you can field anything, Phelps. Huh? God damn, we didn't say it that time. My god, he's dead. Well, we are herding everyone downstairs for the talk and if you're quick you can go catch some of the grad students who just were there for the coffee and the cookies and walk down with them and make them feel embarrassed. Oh, oh my god, what, what happened to Dr. Slides? We haven't the slightest idea, we were going over the slides and he just collapsed. Oh, I almost fell over there. Slides is dead and you're almost losing your balance. Good god, what's happening? Uh, hand me out that cup. I'm afraid if you all are doomed, then it's been a terrible mistake. It's decap. Fink, I need to talk to you by the wall-mounted stapler. The wall-mounted stapler? What is it? It's a stapler mounted on wall, but that's not important. There's been a terrible accident, and the future of this colloquium is in grave danger. Food poisoning? Even worse, decaf. Decaf? All the presenters have perished. Wait, they're dead? Of course, I mean a normal person or even an undergrad misses a caffeine dose he might just nod off and with tenured faculty, it's even worse. I mean, they haven't had a proper sleep or break in the last few years and if you're gonna miss a caffeine dose like that, I mean, I don't see anything other than like, instantaneous coma or death. I feel awful. I provided that coffee. Why does this department even have decaf? 
the loss of presenters is a big tragedy, but we have a bigger issues to deal with. I mean, our department have consumed the same poison, and if we don't find something stimulating enough soon, uh, we might lose the entire department. All right. Well, I think I can buy us some time. There, I've engaged the auto presenter and I've started a video of sand. That should keep everyone's attention for an absolutely unbelievable amount of time. I know I thought I would get bored when I saw it for the first time, but now I can watch it for days. I mean, but I think we need someone to end the colloquium because otherwise people won't know it's over. Professor Fink, even though the colloquium hasn't started yet, I think that I've come up with something that is almost kind of worth saying about it. Can I please rejoin the lab? Ted, of course! Yes! You can answer the questions at the end of the colloquium. No! That's brilliant. I mean, he will either do good or it will be like his that awful 335 poster presentation. But I think the awful thing is actually good because nothing keeps the audience as engaged as a flustered presenter. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't need to rejoin. I could, I could go work at Arby's. Ah, uh, don't worry, Ted. Just take that headphone from Professor Flink and he will walk you through everything. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. You just, you know, listen to the earbuds and whenever a question comes up, I'll tell you what to do. I've picked up these little colloquium question answering tricks throughout the years. But we better get going because the video is almost over. We are going to open this up for a few questions, which will be addressed by Ted. Yes, Cheng Chin. I'm wondering what would happen if you made a system of unbelievable code. Quickly, negate the question. Uh, that's that's very interesting, but it doesn't apply here. Yes, sir. I was wondering if you noticed any different uh, dynamics if you uh, took everything and you viewed, viewed it really uh, slowly. Ooh, a curveball. Answer a different question. Um, th th that effect arises because of the mayor on a mass term in the Hamiltonian. Ah, the generic freshman undergrad. I'm just trying to look smart by asking questions. No need to answer it. It's almost certainly resolved by basic one against. And with that, why don't we just thank our speaker and let's all go get the coffee.